Okay, so we're still going to do the same kind of problems that we did before in a previous section. Establish the identity, we're still going to do that uh, for this. It's just that now we're working with our sum and difference formulas. We want to show that this side can be simplified down into this side. So remember when we do these kind of things, you're working with one side all the way down. This equal sign, you're not allowed to, to do processes on both sides because we don't know for sure. We haven't established that it's an identity. So the idea is we work one side all the way down until we get it equal to uh, the right hand side. In this case, what I need to do first is simplify the top and bottom ones. Now each of these, what I need to do is I'm going to use a sum or difference formula separately for each one. One for the top one and also one for the bottom one. The top one is cosine of x plus y, so that's going to be the third one uh, here. So in this case, my x is going to be x, the y is going to be 3 pi over 2. So I'm just, for the top part only, I'm just going to use the third formula to expand this. This is kind of like what we did in the very first example in this session. We talked about how you can uh, simplify the expression. That's what we're going to do here. Okay, so we're going to do that for the top. We're going to do cosine x and then cosine y. The y would be 3 pi over 2. So cosine 3 pi over 2. And then we have a minus sign, sine x. And then we're going to do sine of 3 pi over 2. On the bottom, we're going to apply a separate formula for that. On the bottom, we have sine of x minus y. That's the second one right here. So again, we're going to put in our information for that. We're going to do sine x cosine pi over 2 minus cosine x sine pi over 2. So we went ahead and we did that second formula because then there's a minus sign there, and we wrote this out here. Next. We want to simplify this. Now, like we did before in the first example of this section, we need to use the unit circle that's here in order to get exact values for all, all these here. So 3 pi over 2 and pi over 2, those are values we can get off of here. The 3 pi over 2 value is down below here. We mentioned before that cosine is the x value and sine is the y value. So I can rewrite this, I can do cosine x and then cosine 3 pi over 2, that's the x value at 3 pi over 2, that's down here, that would be a 0 in this case. Next we have a minus sine x and then sine 3 pi over 2, that's the y value from 3 pi over 2, that's negative 1. So then I'll put times negative 1. Down below here, I'm going to put in exact values for pi over 2. Now pi over 2, that's this point on the unit circle, that's at 90 degrees. Cosine is the x value, that's going to be 0 in this case, so we have sine times 0. And then I have minus cosine x, sine pi over 2, that would be the y value at 90 degrees, that's going to be uh, positive 1. So I'm just bringing down the right hand side, I haven't done anything with that, the negative tan just kind of follows down the, to the problem. I want to do more simplifying. 0 times anything is 0, so that can't, part cancels out. Negative, negative gives me a positive sine x. On the bottom I get negative cosine x. But this is an identity that I can recognize. Uh, and that's gonna be, that can be changed into uh, negative tan x. So basically I can just make both sides the same. Negative tan x equals negative tan x. I put the identity in for that one and now I work one side all the way down until it equals uh, the right hand side. Now back over here, one thing I want to point out is make sure you don't try and cancel out cosines like that. A common thing that I see students doing is cross-canceling, and you can't do that here because you've got minus signs separating. If you have a minus or a plus sign, you're not allowed to cross-cancel and do that. It's only if you have things multiplied or divided, so be careful that you don't do that. You want to break the, everything down separately so you put your values in, and then these are going to go away anyway um, because of the zero. So, We've shown again that one side equals the other, so we've established this identity.